Okay, I will now show you how to do a card trick. These are what you things you need four items. One, deck of cards. Two, marker or pen. Three, an envelope. One of the kinds you can't really see through. Four, a victim. Or as professional magicians call them, a volunteer. And apparently the cats are going to volunteer for this one. You're going to volunteer for us? Okay. You have your victim. Shuffle the cards. Shuffle them. Come on. You going to shuffle them? You're not going to shuffle the cards? Okay, I'll shuffle for the cats and see if they want to do it. This is Melody, by the way. So you just have them shuffle up the cards. Hopefully they won't do it. And I guess she's protesting now. No, she's just going to lay down and have herself a little a little siesta right here on camera and show everybody that you're lazy come on get out of here doing something play with you here okay anyway you think the dog's outside yeah i'm shuffling up the cards and just tell them whenever you're done just stop about that now you're gonna tell them you want to deal the cards onto the table or in our case the floor and they can stop whenever they want to Yeah, we're about there. <coughs> now, you ask them to look at their watch and tell you and put the envelope on the table. Don't pick the envelope up. Open it up. Take the last card they dealt without looking at it. Slip it to the envelope and seal it. Try not to seal it through the card. Press these out of the way, you're done with all of them. You don't need the deck no more. Now, across the flap, you have them write their name or whatever they want and the time. Let's say it's one o'clock. Okay. Now, on this flap, you're going to write your name in a different time. Like, let's say you want to open this card up in an hour or whatever, so we're going to put two o'clock. And you can do this in different ways. You can just have them write the time and the date on here or whatever. And you're telling what you're going to do is put that card down there at the bottom. You just kind of sort of see the card in there. And you can't hold up the light. And you just give a nice little fold half. Well, since you can't put the card in like that, put it this way. You really can't see it. Just have them slip it in their pocket. You're not going to need it no more. Now, when the appropriate time comes along, 2 o'clock or however you want to do this, you simply tell them three of clubs. Get them thinking, what? Three of clubs. Now let them think. Let them, wait a minute, reach in their pocket, pull the envelope out. Three clubs. This works simply. This is how you set it up. First of all, you take whatever card you want to use. You pull it off the side. Keep it out of their sight. Okay? You have them shuffle their cards up. Most people don't shuffle, don't deal cards perfectly like so. They just let the cards drop. And that's perfect. You want to tell them about half, about a little bit. Make a like, small pile like that. They can stop at any time. Because if not, most people will do like that. You don't want that. Now, once they stop, you use the same envelope again because I don't want to grab another one. You take your envelope and you have your card hidden underneath the envelope. Like so. So when you ask what time it is, you drop it on there. I'm going to put the card upside down. You drop it on there. You will pick up the envelope. And that's the last card they dealt from what they see. So you already know what card it is. And then they slip it in there, sign it, and there you go. And that's how you can do that trick.